Welcome my viewers of today to the today's sermon. This is the fifth Sunday after Trinity and we are blessed to hear from our Lord today. And let us pray. God our Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you because you have been a good Lord. You have taken care of us throughout the night and you have brought us safely to this day. Before you, we want to hear from you, and we ask you to guide us, to open our inner ears, so that we may be blessed by your words. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Now, my name is Janet Kasuku, lay reader at St. Paul's SEK Kidiwa, and today we have a word from the Lord. And before we go to the word, we have our readings, which are as follows. Psalms of the day is taken from Psalm 64. First reading, Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. And the second reading is taken from Acts 28, from verse 17 to 31. And uh, I'm going to base my sermon on the first reading that is, is taken from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 28, from verse 1 to 14. And it talks about blessings for obedience. Obedience. God wants us to be obedient to him. In whatever rules, all the commandments he gave us, through Moses. This book talks about the Israelites in the wilderness being led by Moses. And through Moses, they were being given a lot of rules, guidelines, regulations to follow. And today we are the Israelites who are to follow those commandments. And all the commandments of God, I hope you know, they are found in the book of Exodus chapter 20. If you go to that book, you will read them and you will understand them fully. And now God reminds us today that for us to be blessed, we must be obedient to his commandments. Only obedience, that is the condition for getting the blessings from God. And we are going to speak on some few lines from that chapter of 28, of Deuteronomy that tells us how we can get the blessings from God. So these were the various other various laws that God was telling the Israelites through Moses when they were in the wilderness. We are the people now who are even in the wilderness. Even this situation we are in now, we are in the wilderness. That if we don't obey our Lord, we might not come out. So God says us, if you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations on earth. And all these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord, your God. God is telling us the blessings will only come to us if we obey him, if we obey him. And if you want to obey the Lord, you, you become loyal and you do what is expected of you and you do it rightly so that you become righteous to your God. Now, in verse 3, it tells us that you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Which tells us, wherever you are, if you are, on, you are obedient to God, the blessings will follow you wherever you are. Not only in St. Paul's, not only coming to church. You can come to church, but you don't do what God wants. So, make sure that wherever you are, at home, in church, in the city, in the rural areas, you are obedient to God. And all the blessings will follow you wherever you are. That is what it means by saying in the city and even in the country, even at your working place, wherever you are, 
the blessings will follow you. And the only condition for getting the blessings is to be obedient to your God. It tells us again, the fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land and the, the young ones, the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds, and the lambs of your flock, all of them will be blessed. God tells us that way, that if we are obedient to him, we'll bless everything that we have. Even the crops that we have will be blessed. The children that he has given us will be blessed. And even the livestock, everything you have will be blessed. And even your generations to come will be blessed. Because God tells us that you'll, you'll bless us up to even the fourth generation. And even if you don't bless, the curses will also follow you. So for you to bless your generation, you are to be obedient to your God. If you want a blessed generation, your children, your grandchildren, the children of your, grand, your children will be blessed. And only if you obey. The condition for blessings is obedience. Now, if you come to verse 6, God is still reminding us, you will be blessed when you come in, and you will be blessed when you go out. This one tells us that the blessings from God that we can get after being obedient has no limit. Has no limit. There's no time God is going to say, now your blessings are enough. I'm not going to bless you anymore. The blessings will follow you so long as you are obedient to your God. So let us be obedient. Be loyal. It doesn't cost you anything to be obedient. You just follow what is needed. What God has told us in that book from the book of Exodus and following other various conditions that has been, have been put before us. So we need to be obedient to them so that God can bless us without any limit. Every time we'll get the blessings from God. So it tells us that every day, every moment, wherever you are, be obedient to your God and the blessings will follow you. There is no one who does not want the blessing from God. Everyone fights for the blessing everywhere, wherever he is. When you are at the place of work, you look for promotions, and those are blessings. And you can only get them when you are obedient. Even at your workplace, if you are not obedient, you will not get that promotion. And the promotion, if you get, it is a blessing from God. Now, verse 7 tells us, The Lord will grant the enemies who rise up against you, and they will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but will flee from you in seven. Figure seven is used in the, in the book. And the word seven means totality. Completeness. So when the devil comes upon you, the devil throws his missiles upon you, God is there to fight for you. God will fight for you in all ways. They, you are told that they, they will come at you from one direction, only one direction, but God will scatter them in seven. It means in all directions, which, whichever direction they come, even if it is sickness, if it is poverty, if it is what, God is ready to fight for you. And this one, God will only do if you are obedient. There are very many things that we go through, Sometimes they come and they, they, they are defeated. And you don't know why. This is because you have served your Lord in the right way. You are righteous with your Lord. And if you are righteous with your Lord, the Lord is going to protect you. The Lord is going to fight for you in all the ways. That's why the seven is used there. In all directions, from all directions, God is going to fight for you. So whatever comes before you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just be very courageous. Be brave because you know you are with your God. And this God you have is the God you are serving obediently. You are obedient before him. You are loyal before your God. 
and God is going to fight for you. So, our brethren, I really urge you to be obedient before you are Lord. Now, verse 12 tells us this way. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. And this one will only happen when you are obedient. All these things, good things will happen to you if you embrace the obedience. And God is ready to do that. God is looking at us from heaven. God is seeing all that we are doing. And if you are not obedient, God will close the doors for blessings for us. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Wherever you are, you will be shining. You will be at the top. You will not tail because you are obedient. If you pay attention to the commands of the your Lord God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top. We will always be at the top if you follow what God has given us to do, the commandments of God. The commandments of God. Wherever, whenever you follow them, God will make you to be at the top. Who does not want to be at the top? Even the children at school, they want to be, all of them want to be number one. There is no one who, who, is going, who wants to be identified that I'm at the bottom. All of them want to be at the top. And this one we can get very easily only if we obey the Lord. It does not turn aside from all the commandments he has given us. All the commandments he has given us. You know the commandments which in the book of the Old Testament, the, co the covenant between the Israelites and God, it was called the Old Covenant. Today we have the New Covenant. We have the New Covenant with God. And this covenant with God the covenant that the laws are written in our hearts. We walk with them. We have them all the time. They guide us wherever we go. So, we need to be obedient to them because they are, we are with them. We don't need them anywhere that you are in town, you, are, you are, want to go and check which, which these laws is. You have them with you. So, the only thing is just to follow. To follow them. And the new covenant is called the better covenant. It is better because it guides us everywhere we are. Whether you are at home, whether you are walking, whether you are sleeping, you have them in your heart. You keep on meditating upon them. And the only way is to obey. Obedience is the key to blessings from God. Now, this time, we are also in the wilderness like the Israelites, the way they were in the wilderness. We are in the, in the wilderness of this pandemic that is now confronting us, which is called the COVID-19. And there are laws, there are guidelines which are put down for us to follow. And actually we are following them because it is for our health, for our betterment. But do we remember that? Are we obeyed God in the first place? Have we followed what God wants? Or we only want to follow what we are now told at this moment, after a very long time? Is it that we want to follow only the, the laws that guide us against this disease and forget that we had not obeyed God in the first place? If we are only doing that, I don't know whether we are going to, to be cured or we are going to escape from the punishment. This disease can be a punishment from God because God is seeing us. Maybe we are not doing what God wants. We are not obeying what God wants us to do. And now we want to obey these laws against the disease. Let us ask ourselves, how, had we obeyed God in the first place? Or we are now busy obeying, putting on the mask, washing our hands, and doing all the rest. But in the first place, we never obeyed our God. Let us ask God to forgive us. 
In the book of Second Chronicles, which I hope all of you know at the back of your mind, that in Second Chronicles 14, I mean 7 verse 14, that tells us, Mungu anatuambia ya kwamba. Watu wangu wale wanaitu wanajina langu. Ikiwa wataomba, watatafuta uso wangu, wanyenyeke mbele yangu, na wawache mabaya yale wanatenda. Basi nitawasikia nikiwa uko binguni, na niwasame na niwaponye. There's still time. There's still time. That's why God has given us even today to hear his word so that we can change, so that we can repent. There's still time for repentance, to live away our bad ways so that God can forgive us, so that God can heal us. God is still giving us this chance that we live, we deviate from our bad ways. We live our bad motives and we follow him and we obey him and he will hear us in heaven where he is seated and looking at us god looks at, looks at us every now and then and our deeds our behavior i think they are not making god to be happy they are making god to be sad and he's not going to call us his people, his holy people, whom he can be proud of. God is sad because of what people are doing, the bad things. God is saying, if we live our bad ways, bad, he has just said the word bad. Mbaya, matendo yetu mbaya, tukiwacha, atatusikia, na atatusamehe. Na atatuponya. Kwa hivyo tukipat, tukitaka uponyaji kutoka kwa mungu. Tukitoka baraka kutoka kwa mungu. Ebu tuti. Tuti mungu. Ili tupate hizo baraka zote. Na baraka inaeza kuwa tunaeza pona. Ata kutokana na hii COVID-19. Kwa hivyo mungu ametupatia nafasi siku hii ya leo. Ili tusikie. Hata kuanzia siku hii ya leo, ikiwa unaesa wacha njia zako mbaya, watu wanatenda mambaya, watu wanaua wengine, na mungu hawezi kufraia kwa sababu ya matendo zetu. Kwa hivyo mungu atusaidie ili tupate baraka kutoka kwake kutokana na kuti na tuombe. Baba, tunasema ni asante, asante kwa neno lako baba. Ebu tusaidie tuwe na uwezo wa kutii sharti zako na mambo yako yote ili tuweze kupata baraka kutoka kwako katika jina la baba baba wetu nimeomba nikiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu amen